Okay. So again, angle T is congruent to angle G. It has one curve, one curve. And then TR is congruent to what other side on the other triangle? Nothing. TR is congruent to this side over here. What? That side is called GC. And angle T, oops, I put angle T twice. It's supposed to be angle R. This is angle R. So R. Now tell me, what is angle R congruent to? Angle what? Thank you, angle C. So again, if two angles, if two angles and the included, included means it's in the middle, of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another and the included side of that triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So again, you have an angle, a side, an angle. Again, the, the side has to be in the middle. Therefore, you could say that triangle T R W is congruent to triangle G C H G C H by angle side angle. Okay. The other one is angle angle side. So for that one, you've guessed it. You've had to have two angles and one side that is not in the middle. Okay, that's the difference between these two. The side is not in the middle here, okay? So again, let's write down the definition. If two angles and a non-included side of one triangle, again, a lot of times I use symbols instead of writing the word. Again, this means angle S with an S angles and this one is obviously the symbol for a triangle are congruent this is the symbol for congruent to the corresponding two angles and the non-included side of a second triangle, great, I just messed up, second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Again, I'm giving you an example of it. You have this triangle right here labeled as JKL. You have an angle followed right away by an angle followed right away by a side. Remember that everything has to be consecutive or right away. You have the other triangle, which is CAB. So therefore, we have to name the congruent parts. Angle K is congruent to what angle L is congruent to what and JL is congruent to what. This part can be completed by you. It's pretty easy. Just look at the pictures. And again, tell me when you're done through the chat so that I know when to move forward. Here it is. Tell me. Angle K is congruent to which angle? I'm looking at the chat and I'm... Which one? I think I heard A. Angle L is congruent to which other angle? B. B, and that is because this has to 
curves. This also has two curves. And lastly, JL is congruent to? CC. Thank you, CB. So now, I'm going to show you the two ways or the two things that are going to be on your classwork. One of them is the first part of your classwork is going to ask you to state if the two triangles are congruent based off on angle side angle and angle angle side or not congruent because it is it always going to be congruent? Not all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my paper. And again, I'm going to write the directions just like how it's going to be in your classwork. So it says state if the two triangles are congruent by angle side angle, which is what I just taught you, and angle angle side or not congruent at all, okay? Because it could be possible that they're not congruent. Okay, so the first one is Tell me when you're done so that we can go ahead and answer it together for the first two and then you guys guide me, guide me through the next four. So I'm going to use a pink pen to label what I know. So as far as um, here, I have to make sure that I label what I'm given. I see an angle here followed right away by a side, followed right away by a side. And so, so far I, ha I can say that this could be an angle side angle, but it has to match on the other side, and it does, angle side angle. So are these two congruent? Yes, why? By angle side angle. Again, you're labeling the given. Over here, You have an angle, a side, an angle. Other side, angle, side, angle. Are these two congruent, yes or no, guys? Yes. Yeah, they are. By which rule or by which congruency? Angle, side, angle. That is correct. So angle, side, angle. How about this one? Is number three congruent, guys? Are the triangles congruent?
No. No. Why are they not congruent even though they look alike? Do you guys notice that this one and this one are not congruent on there? Because this is only one tick mark, which is not the same as three tick marks. But this two and two are congruent, these two sides, but not these ones. And then on top of that, if I were to actually label it, I have side angle side. Is that one of our options on the top? No. So not congruent. Here, for number four, yesterday I told you guys that I could label something on here because if I separate them, they share something. What is it that they share? Anyone remember from yesterday's lesson? Angle. Yeah, what angle? Is it the ones from here? Or is it the ones in the middle? The one in the middle. Yep, the ones in the middle. These are called vertical angles. Remember that from yesterday? Vertical angles are congruent. That's why I can go ahead and label it. Okay. So, so far, based off on this, I have an angle and a side and a side. No, no, no. I'm wrong. Angle angle, right? And a side. I have an angle, a side, and an angle. Are these two congruent? Yes or no? Yes. yes. You're saying yes. Okay, let's see. Have an angle and an angle and a side. I do have angle, angle, side, right? So we're good here. And then here, Wait a minute, did I just, yep. Here I have an angle, but is it followed by an angle right away over here? No. No, so could it be angle, angle, side as well like this one? No. No. So no, because this one is angle, angle, side, but this one is angle, side, angle. So therefore they're not congruent. Do you guys see that? You have to make sure that they are next to each other right away. So this, in order for this to work, it should have been angle here and another angle here for it to be angle, angle, side. But it's not. So therefore, no. One of them is angle, angle, side. The other one is angle, side, angle, which makes them not congruent. And I just realized that um, on the other classes, they, we actually did label it as angle, angle, side because, again, we did not pay attention to here. So I will, post it, I, will, I will be posting this video, and hopefully those classes, class one and two, you know, goes back over here, and you see that mistake that we had made. Now, five, yes or no? No. No, I have angle, angle, angle. Is that such a thing? No, so therefore these are not congruent. Next one, again, what is the one thing that I can label? The vertical angles, right? Based off on that, I see a side, an angle, and an angle. I see an angle, an angle, and a side. Does it follow the rule? If I go side, angle, angle, do I have such thing as side, angle, angle? Do I have a side angle angle? Is that a rule? No, but if I go the other way, do I have angle angle side? You're too quiet. Do I have angle angle side? Yeah. Yes. Does it follow on the other one, angle angle side? Yeah, so these two are congruent by angle, angle, side.
Okay, let's flip it to the back and I'm going to now um, show you other examples where instead of you finding out why they're congruent, they're going to tell you that the two triangles are congruent by the, whichever rule from the top, from this one or this one, and you have to find out what other piece do I need to make congruent in order for it to be what it's asking us um, the triangles to be congruent by. So this one says, state, oh no, not that one, state what additional information is required in order to make the triangles congruent by the given reason. So like this is what it means. For example, one, it's saying these two triangles must be congruent by angle, side, angle. They're going to give you two pieces of information and you have to make the third piece so that the triangles become angle, side, angle. So here you have the first triangle and again I'm going to draw all of them and then go back to them to answer them together. Q, D, E, C. Number two must be congruent again by angle, side, angle. Now they look like this here. K, L, M. Again, let me know when you're done. Again, the directions say, state what additional info is required in order to make the triangles congruent by the given reason. Number one, the given reason is angle, side, angle. So the first thing you need to do is determine what pieces of information they gave you. And again, I did not give it to you. Jeez, right there and right there. Those are the two things that they gave you. So you, the first step is to obviously label what they gave you. At the top one, they gave you an angle, and they gave you a side. So now I know angle and a side. What are you missing here? 
According to this, what are you missing? Thank you. Yes, an angle. And remember, it has to be right away. So would I put the angle over here at the Q or at the C? Does it freeze on you guys' end? Is my screen frozen right now? It is? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, um, what I do now is over here, if you look right here, if you look at me, I have a computer now, right here, and then I'm, like, projecting with the other computer, so, like, I can see what you guys can see on this computer over here. So, it stopped, fro stopped, it's not frozen anymore, right? Okay, let me go ahead and unshare and reshare, okay? So, no, okay, let me exit out. <gasps> no, I can't close the window because I'm recording, guys. What? Okay, so I think it's because I'm not shared. Let me see. Open share tray. Let's share my Hoover cam. Can you guys see it now? Yes? Okay, so hopefully this time it works. So again, you're given an angle and a side. We said we're missing an angle. Now, should I label the angle at the Q, at the top, or in the middle, at the C, for the angle? Well, let's think about it. If I put it at the Q, it would say angle, angle, side. Is that what we're asking for? No. So therefore, I have to put it right here where the, where the C is, right here. This and this. So in order for this to be angle, side, angle, my reason here is that I have to make angle QCD, QCD, and the reason why I'm using that instead of just saying one letter is because C is being shared by both triangles, so we have to identify, are you talking about the angle C at the top, or are we talking about at the angle C at the bottom? So QCD is the top one, DCE is the bottom one, DC. Notice that C is still in the middle. That's our center point. That's the um, angle that we're referring to. So on your classwork, you have to say number one, and then you have to give me the reason. Make blank, blank, blank congruent. You don't have to draw the figure if you don't want to. I just need you guys to give me the reason. Number two, angle, side, angle. Well, what have you been given? Angle, 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 angle. What are you missing? What are you missing if you're given the two angles? The side. Where am I going to label that side to make sure that it's in between the two angles? I'm going to make which side 
congruent to the other side. Come on, don't be afraid. Talk to me. K to X. So if you say K and X, you're referring to the angle, but I'm assuming you're referring to the side KL, this side right here. So KL, which is the side, is congruent to, so I'm going to say this tick mark, is congruent to the other two um, in between angles, which is right here, which would be UL. Okay? So I have to make KL congruent to UL so that now I have angle side angle. It has to be right away. I cannot make this KM congruent to SU because then we would have angle, angle, side or side, angle, angle going the other way and that's not what it's asking us to find or to make it congruent, okay? The next one, number three, it's asking us for angle, angle, side. Again, you look at the figure. What are you given? I see a side. DC, side DC, and I see this angle right here. Again, side and angle. So they gave you an angle and a side. What are you missing, guys? Notice that I'm crossing out what they gave me. So what is left that I'm missing? An angle. Should I put in my angle at the C, which is being sheared, or at the T and the E? Yes, T and E, because now it follows angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. If I would have done it at the C, it would have been angle, side, angle. Is that what it's asking us? No. So then we are going to make angle T congruent to, oops, congruent to angle E. Are you getting a feel of this, guys? I hope that you are. Okay. So for number four, angle, angle, side. Again, you're given two things. You need the third piece. So, so far I see that I have angle, angle. So what am I missing, guys? The side. The side. Where do I put the side? If I do it between the two angles, it becomes angle, side, angle. Is that the same thing as here? Okay. At Z. Again, Z is an angle. You mean either ZY or ZX, which is a line or a side. So which one? Okay, so if we put it as ZX, now we have an angle, angle, side. That matches what I need, angle, angle, side, right? But do you notice that even if I didn't use ZX and I decided to use YZ, you still end up with an angle, angle, side? Do you guys see that? Yeah. So on this one, not in every one, on this one, I could use either side. So I could say, let's make... ZX, congr ZX congruent to ZX to NL, which is what I'm using right now, or I could also say that YZ is congruent to MN, okay? So this one does work for whichever side. Okay. Here, these are two triangles, top, bottom, right? Does anyone know what type of tri um, angles these are called so they're on the opposite side of a line? Does anyone know? So like you have something like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These two are on the inside of the two lines 
on the opposite side of this line as well as these ones. So that means angle 4 is congruent to angle 5 and angle 3 is congruent to angle 6 like how you see here because of alternate interior because they're on the inside angles. Alternate interior angles are congruent. So here they're asking us to make it angle side angle, right? So far on the top I have an angle followed by a side. So what am I missing? Angle. Should I put it at the H that is being shared by this angle and G or at the V and the I? If I put it at the V and the I, this becomes angle, angle, side. Is that what I'm looking for? No. But if I say that this angle is congruent to that other angle, I would be correct because they are across from each other on the transversal, which makes them congruent because of alternate interior angles right there. So now I, I say, again, notice that H, the angle H is being shared by both triangles. So instead of saying angle H and angle G, you have to be more specific to refer to the top one and the bottom one. So now I'm going to say that you have to make VHG, which is referring to angle H, angle VHG congruent to, notice that the H is in the middle because that's your focus, IGH, congruent to IGH. Again, we're referring to G, which is being shared. And that's it. Now you have angle, side, angle on both triangles. Now this one, you have to create it and make it angle, angle, side. Well, they gave you an angle and a side. What are you missing? What are you missing? An angle. An angle. I could do this angle or I could do this angle. Which one would you do? Okay, so yes and no. Um, you have an angle and a side, right? You need an angle. So I could say angle, angle, side over here or angle, angle, side over here. So do, does it matter which one I choose at this point? No. No. So I could say that this one is to this one, right? Because of what? Alternate interior angles, right? But it would also work if I do the other alternate interior angles. But again, I'm choosing to do these two. So I'm going to say make angle ELK, again referring to angle L, is congruent to angle LKJ. LKJ, again referring to angle K. Do you guys understand why I'm using three letters? Again, it's because K is being shared by the top triangle and the bottom one. So you have to be specific. Are you talking about the top one or the bottom one? See, when I say ELK, we're talking about the angle right here. But when I say LKJ, we're talking about the angle right here, this little angle right there. So I hope that makes sense as to why I'm using three letters instead of just one, as if I were to say, um, e is congruent to J. See how they're alone and it's not being um, split with any other angle? That's the reason.